Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are setting our sights onto the men's classic physique division. This is Wesley Vissers and Logan Franklin at the 2020 Mr. Olympia event. They placed 11th and 9th respectively. Actually, Wesley Vissers landed in that 11th place position. Deontre Campbell actually placed 10th in between these two dudes, but I believe this was the more requested comparison, and Logan Franklin, he placed 9th, so he... He got a one-up on uh, on Wesley Vissers, but do I agree with the judges? Surely not based on this front double bicep pose. Now, the word classic, you have to keep that in mind when you're looking at this one. I mean, guys, Wesley Vissers, from his, I guess you could call it a wide waistline, like I guess Arnold Schwarzenegger had, when it comes to that, that just reeks of classic. It looks like a classic waistline. Classic, everything. It just reeks of that word. And the even the tights that the man wears. Wesley Vissers, he wears his tights, he wears them up high. Anybody notice that? That's the way they did it in the 70s. Anyway, I personally much prefer Wesley's, and he's tall. He's huge. He's six foot three. And the way he's proportioned, he's not lanky whatsoever. So, what an awesome physique. Go through the poses here with the uh, front lat spread here. I gotta say, when I look at the tan on Logan Franklin, classic just does not come to mind. It seems to be, you can see it gobbed on a little bit. You guys notice that? And when it comes to Wesley Vissers, it looks like he has a natural tan. It looks like he just went out and tanned. And that's what they should be going for, that type of look. But anyway, Logan does have some nice lats there. And he does appear to be in slightly better condition but like I said, guys, I do not prefer I prefer the non, you know, painted up look for a classic physique for sure. But having said that, very close in the front lat spread. Turn to the side. Logan. Logan actually looks thicker. He looks bigger here. In particular in the lag development. What a fantastic set of lags. Now smaller in the calves, yes, but maybe more detailed for Logan Franklin and Wesley nowhere near the development as far as the hamstring is concerned like Logan Franklin has now when I look at the pecs yes Logan is displaying more of a size for his pec but when you really take a look at it Wesley's seems to be thicker a thicker pec look at his far pec it means more business and when you look at the arms also Wesley Vissers yeah, he does definitely mean more business as far as that can that's concerned he could probably beat up Logan Franklin you know what I mean I think Wesley Vissers, he could probably beat up everybody in the IFBB. He's rangy, he's big. That's my pick, that's my guess. I don't know who you guys would pick. Definitely wouldn't be Phil Heath, he'd be too slow. Wesley would snap him fight. What am I talking about? I apologize, guys. <laughs> Wesley Vissers may get an edge in the side chest. Side tricep development, and they're both hitting it very classic here. And you'll notice I made Logan a little bit taller in this comparison. He's standing up straight, both knees, Wesley bending. I kind of like Wesley's a little bit better here. When you're talking, like I said, when you're talking classic, he just looks more of a classic physique. Of course, Logan has that tiny little wee waistline. He is tilting thusly and minimizing his waist even more. But having said that, this is actually a very close one. I honestly had... Both of these guys ahead of Campbell, but anyway, with all due respect. Let's have our first glimpses at the back development. And this one here, this is a telling tale for sure. The physique of Logan Franklin, much better with this tiny little wee waistline, like I said, and the bigger lags. Definitely there is an edge there. And when it comes to conditioning, when it comes to conditioning of the glutes, the hamstrings, Logan Franklin, he's winning. Like I said earlier, kind of puny in the calves is... Logan, but much more cut, much more diced than that of Wesley's. Now, Wesley's got a big set of calves. Now, shift gears here for the uh, compliments for Wesley Vissers. His Christmas tree, his Christmas tree's better than Logan Franklin's, if you can believe that one. So, is he better conditioned? Mm, it's hard to say. Look at the glutes of Logan. He's winning in that edge. But the the branches of the Christmas tree of, Lo or of Wesley Vissers go much down, much farther than that of Rich or Rich Franklin. Rich Franklin. He was. That's why I was thinking of UFC fighting, because Rich Franklin, Logan Franklin. 
I apologize, guys. A little bit silly, a little bit goofy. Well, not goofy. You gotta watch what you, when you call somebody goofy. They may have been to prison. Let's go to the rear double biceps. And Logan Franklin, again, guys. He is getting a, an edge on the conditioning. He's got good delts, good arms from behind, does Logan Franklin as well. But when you look at Wesley Vissers, he's got a better back. In my opinion, he's got a way better back. Look at the lats. Look at the V-taper. So it's take your pick, guys. When it comes to a classic physique, I would think that Wesley Vissers is winning this one. But they got to look at conditioning too, guys. They got to look at all them aspects before they make a decision as well. Ab and thigh, structurally speaking, wide waist, nothing. Wesley Vissers makes, makes up for that with those wide lats. Look at the size of them. And when it comes to Logan Franklin here, I don't know what it is. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm not a huge fan of his ab and thigh. Not exactly sure what it is, but I would definitely say Wesley, he does look a whole lot better. But at the end of the day, guys, the judges probably give it to Franklin here because he's in better condition. His abs are a little bit more cut. So it's honestly, guys, it is a very close matchup between these two dudes, these two studs. Finish this one off with a a classic pose for both gentlemen. And I like how they do this. They do like a classic form-fitting pose. Love Wesley Vissers. He does the Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of course, Arnold's arch rival, Mike Menzer. Franklin, Logan Franklin is doing the Mike Menzer. And they're both showing the tricep. And at the end of the day, I much prefer Wesley Vissers in this comparison. The physique, the structure. But speaking as a judge, judging a normal competition, I'm sure they would give it to Logan Franklin. Because you can see even in this pose, the thin skin and the lags. He is in better condition when it comes to that. But not really going to announce a winner in this one. I don't disagree with the judges. But, personally, I would have put the much better structured man ahead. I would have placed Wesley Vissers ahead of Logan Franklin. But that's just me, guys. Like I said, the judges did nothing wrong here. They picked the more conditioned man. But anyway, guys, if that's the case, then Terrence uh, Ruffin should have placed first. But anyway, anyway, you don't need to get into that. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.